Hi, my name is Sarah Bengal. I work for Ohio Health for the Family Medicine and uh, Primary Care Sports Medicine Fellowships here. And I will be talking to you today as part of the AMSSM Family Med Radiology Project on radiographic terminology. I would like to give credit to my husband, VJ Pandya, who is, works for Radiology Incorporated, also in uh, Columbus, Ohio, that helped put together this talk. We, neither of us, have any disclosures. Our objectives today are that we would like to learn X-ray radiology terms. We'd like to review three locations you'll see in these terms um, and discuss clinical correlation or clinical condition correlation of these X-ray findings. So these are some of the common radiographic terms when we're talking about X-rays. We usually talk about something that's radio opaque or lucent. We often talk about sclerosis or subchondral sclerosis and subchondral cysts, and whether or not there's a normal bone density. So if we break it down, when we talk about something being radio opaque, we are talking about the x-ray is not able to really see through those items. So the object is going to appear very white in appearance. This is pretty typical for metal or bone cortex. Whereas some, when something is radiolucent, it means that the x-rays go straight through it. And so it'll appear as dark or black. This is very typical for fat or air. So in this example, we have a picture, a radiograph of a left hand. And as you can see, the metal is something that appears as bright white. And this is very typical for something that's radio opaque. So this person has a radio opaque object in a circular manner around their finger, also known as a ring. One of the more common things that we discuss in sports medicine or ortho are whether or not we see increased sclerosis. This is a relative increase in opacity. So when we look at this individual's hand, right hand x-ray and we look at the DIP of that first digit, you can see that there's a brighter white um, along that joint. Same thing along that PIP. And same thing along this first CMC joint where it's a brighter white or increased sclerosis in that area. This is indicative of um, osteoarthritis or wearing of that joint where the body is laying down extra calcium to help compensate. In this view of a thoracic spine, we can see something called osteopenia, which is relative lucency of the bone. Compared to the prior picture, you can see that these bones or these particular vertebrae almost are completely radiolucent, except you can see, still see the outline. Um, and so that is a sign of lucency or osteopenia on x-rays. Now we know that x-rays are not diagnostic of osteopenia, right? You need a DEXA scan to help determine that but you can see relative osteopenia, disuse osteopenia, or signs of osteopenia on plain films. In this picture, um, we have an ankle injury that we um, can actually see radiolucent splotches within the ankle mortise. And that is a sign that there's air in this ankle joint which in this case would be indicative of an open fracture. So x-ray penetration can help determine what substance you're imaging, whether it's metal, bone, or air. Um, please understand that the shades of gray are all relative to one another. You're comparing it to averages of what's right next to it. Radio opaque will show as bright white, whereas radiolucent will be black. Thank you for your attention today in this portion of our FM Radiology Project.